We've got a projectile where a ball is thrown straight up at 49 meters per second. And we want to know how much time elapses by the time it reaches its apex, right at its maximum height before it returns back on its descent. So when we do these, let's see if we can get an estimate before we actually use our equations. We know the reason the ball is slowing down is due to the effects of gravity. And we happen to know that the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the Earth is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, if we want to get a rough estimate as to how long it takes to get to the, to the apex, let's, instead of using this awkward 9.8 number, let's make it roughly negative 10 meters per second squared. Now, remember what that means. That means your speed or your velocity is changing by 10 meters per second each second. You're losing 10 meters per second each second. So when I go through this, just as an estimate, remember this is not a final calculation, I'm going to say I started at roughly 50 meters per second. 49 is close enough to 50. One second later, my velocity will lose 10 meters per second. So if I started at roughly 50, one second later, I'm going 40 meters per second. Now remember, this is approximate. Two seconds later, I'm going 30 meters per second. Three seconds later, when I lose another negative 10 meters per second of velocity, I'm going 20 meters per second. Four seconds later, I'm going 10. And then five seconds later, I reach a final velocity of zero. So we're looking at approximately five seconds to get to its apex. Now, how do we calculate this? It's a vertical projectile, so really I only need information vertically. I don't have a horizontal component. So when we do that, we just set up all our variables like we usually do. V initial, V final, A, T, and D. Remember, all these are vectors except for time. V initial is up, so don't forget, it's positive, 49 meters per second. V final, when it reaches its Apex would be zero meters per second at the peak. I'm going to put a little star beside it. You have to sort of read between the lines to know that. My acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Time is what we're looking for. I don't know D. So avoid equations with D in it. If you look at your formula sheet, this one pops out, does not have displacement in it. V final is V initial plus AT. V final is zero, V initial is positive 49, my acceleration was negative 9.8, and I solved this equation for T. So if I subtract a 49 from both sides to get rid of it, I get this. Divide both sides by negative 9.8, the negatives cancel because we don't want a negative time, and I get my five seconds.